Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and I just got another copy of the Lego Ninjago magazine. Because I'm actually home now from college, I'll be able to get these Ninjago magazine videos up a lot quicker, so I'll be within like a few weeks of the magazines actually releasing. So that's really exciting. Another really exciting thing is this is a magazine that actually comes with two minifigures. It comes with the all-new Island J minifigure, and then also a random re-release of a previous magazine figure. My particular magazine came with uh, Spinjitzer Burst Coal, but I believe if you guys get this magazine, you will get a completely random figure. Maybe Spinjitzer Burst Coal, or maybe any other uh, previous magazine promo. So it's cool to get him here. Obviously, I already got him in a previous magazine, which I already reviewed on this channel, but it's still cool to get another one. But as always, we'll take a look at the minifigures in a little bit. First, let's take Take a look at the magazine. All right, so successfully took those minifigures off without tearing the magazine too much, and now we can get a better look at the cover. So you can see Jay with lightning nunchucks plus extra toy. Ocean race, it's a battle at sea, but who will win? Face the stone golems. Epic posters. So let's just open it up, take a look. All right, add for Master of the Mountain. As always, we have a little table of contents right here. Here's the little information page on the Island Jay minifigure that comes in this set. Unfortunately, it does not look like he comes with his armor. We'll take a look at that more later on, but armor would have been nice here. Master of Lightning. Jay is an electrifying ninja. The lightning ninja knows how to short-circuit villains with his flashy powers. He loves cracking jokes, too, but he doesn't always get a thunderous applause. All right, there you can see Jay. I have instructed this how to build him. You have, like, a matching game right here. You have to, like, reorder these parts to fit this image. This is, once again, I think just a matching game. You match each part to, like, the area that's, like, that fits it. This looks like it's a matching game where you're told, like, hey, here's a clue about one of the ninja, and then you have to match one of the six ninja to the clue that fits them. All right, wow, like a lot of matching games this time around. <laughs> so this one, you have to find, like, the eyes, hair, and symbol that match each ninja, and then write them all here. This is one of those drawing things where they give you, like, a blank minifigure, and then once you design it yourself, this time around, you design your own Thunder Keeper, which is very cool, and it's uh, narrated by Clutch Powers, who was saying, hey, uh, you need to draw it for me so I can report back to the Explorers Club. Uh, very in character, sounds about right. Aha, but wow, we're at the comic already. So, I, as always, I'm going to read this myself. If there's anything interesting, I will point it out. But if you guys want to read it yourself, you feel free to pause and read it. And I'm just going to flip through it all. Okay, so it looks like this comic takes place, like, as they're traveling to the island to, like, find, uh, Wu and Masako and Clutch Powers. But I think this is a drawing error because they have Clutch Powers right here in the boat. And I don't think he's supposed to be here. <laughs> also, it looks like Pixel has pink hair right here, which is strange. But yeah, it looks like the whole thing is the Explorers Club is also trying to find the people who are lost. Okay, so they have the ninja driving the catamarans, but Nia is driving the Keeper's catamaran? Strange. I guess, like, because she fits that color scheme, they can use that as, like, a ninja catamaran, but that's definitely not a ninja catamaran. Also, yeah, Pixel's hair is definitely pink here. That's bizarre. So, yeah, they're just essentially getting in a fight with the, uh, with the Explorers Club. This is bizarre. I don't know how I feel about this comic. Definitely not my favorite of the ones I've read recently, but maybe it improves. We'll see. But now, continuing on page 22. So, now we have the break in the middle. All right, cool. So, this is, like, a little decode the message thing. This is another, like, little, like, draw path sort of thing. And then we have the posters, as always, uh... This one's pretty cool. I like this one. Uh, it says Cole. Got a big old picture of Cole right here. That looks pretty nice, actually. I like that. This other poster, though, eh. They've been doing this a lot recently where, like, the design of the poster is pretty cool, but they put, like, a Pixar filter on it, and it just looks very bad. Like, these renders were not meant to have this filter put onto it, so... Yeah, I, I love the layout. The layout looks cool, and it says Explore the Island, but yeah, no, I'm not, a, not a huge fan of this one, unfortunately. This is a Spot the Differences game. Which one, what, what's different between these two images? And then now we're back to the comic. Come on, we've got them cornered. They're just chasing Jay around on their little buggies. Yep, they're just going around and around and around. Wow, yeah, Zane just straight up changed where they're going. That's so rude of him, I can't believe he did that. Wow. Alright, yeah, eh. Definitely not my favorite of these comics. They've been pretty good recently, but this one, eh, it just seems kind of pointless. I don't know. I'm tired of Island stuff already, because these comics have more content in them than the entire season. I'm ready for them to move on to Seabound, but it's fine. Not everyone needs to be a winner, so yeah, whatever. Rough Seas, Tough Ninja. So this is just a maze, essentially, right? And then you have to write the number of animals you see. Okay. That's cool. Mazes are, mazes are fun. You can't go wrong with a maze. Monster riddles. You are about to enter the Keeper's Village and help the ninja when these stone monsters block your way and they won't let you pass it in, in, until you complete their challenges. Are you up to it? All right, cool. And it's just like three little mini games to complete. Yeah, I, I like that. That's fun. And then a quiz about the comic you just read. Okay, cool. Uh, then the like featured fan section. Uh, this, did someone just sent in an image of their Ninjago City docks. 
<laughs> that's literally just the Ninjago City docks. Like nothing's nothing's different about it. <laughs> I mean, good for them, but interesting. Okay. <laughs> And then finally, we have an ad for next month's magazine, which is Thunderkeeper, which is pretty cool. Not as interesting as, like, a ninja figure, obviously, but I appreciate just getting more of the Keepers because we didn't get a ton of them in sets, so I'll appreciate one more to add to my uh, collection. We also get green handcuffs, which I've never seen them in that color before. I, I don't think they introduced new colors for these magazines, so they, I'm sure they do come in, like, at least one other set but yeah i i uh i've never gotten them before so that's actually gonna be really cool to get but yeah he's not as interesting as this much figure but i think he's still pretty cool what's this i got on the little poster you can cut out uh for the uh for two of the sets yeah whatever so overall definitely not my favorite magazine i didn't enjoy this one as much as the past few but that's okay they can't all be winners but the figures in this one look really really good so let's take a look at them all right so here are the two little play bags of the minifigures we have Fujitsu burst cole and island j so let's get them both opened up So here are the two figures included with this magazine. We have Island J and we have Spinjitsu Bros. Cole. Uh, I know I said this at the beginning of this video, but I just want to clarify again. If you get this magazine, you will not necessarily get Spinjitsu Bros. Cole. This figure is completely random. I happen to get him, but you guys can get any other uh, figure that was featured in a previous magazine, so just keep that in mind. So I'm mainly going to be focusing on Island J here, and I think this guy is really, really good. The main disappointment about him is he does not come with his armor piece, which is super lame, because we've gotten the armor pieces in magazines before with the Season 11 suits, so it's lame to see that they didn't include it on him here because the armor pieces are not the most common in the world so it would have been really nice to get it on a magazine figure but it's whatever island j does come in two other island sets so chances are if you have island sets you are very likely have this figure already so this will just be an extra but it's still really nice to get an extra island j i think is one of my favorite island suits i love the use of yellow on his torso i think that's one of the best parts about it and you get his uh hair headband combo piece which only comes on this island figure it does not come on any other j figure so that's pretty cool to get here i also really really love these weapon builds. The magazines always come with super unique weapon builds, and this is no exception. He has nunchucks with lightning shooting out of them, and like the nunchuck design is fairly generic, right? It's just lightsaber hilts and a chain. The addition of the lightning is just really, really cool parts to be included because, I don't know, when I was a kid, I would have loved getting like so much. I mean, when I'm now, I still love getting so many uh, lightning pieces in a, in a set because they're not super common, and just because Jay's the master of lightning, like you could very easily take them off the nunchucks and just use them as uh, lightning pieces, which I think is awesome. But yeah, overall, he's a really, really good figure. He'd be perfect if he included armor, but even without it, I'm really, really happy with him. It's been He's a Bruce Cole, I'm not going to spend too long on because I've already reviewed his spinner and reviewed the magazine he originally came in, but he's a good figure. He's the one canon Spinjitzer Burst figure, and I like him. I love the shirtless torso design and the angry face and the use of the uh, Legacy 2 legs and the Legacy 1 hood is a little bit lame, but it works well enough and you can very easily swap that out for Master of the Mountain. And the weapons he comes with are awesome. He comes with these two huge drill pieces. And I think they're just pretty incredible. I, I really love how they were done. They use Unikitty horns at the end, and they use, like, these stamp pieces in black, which is pretty cool. Those are fairly uncommon. I believe they come in the NES set, and that's the only set they come in, so that's really cool to see them reused here. Yeah, he's a really good figure, and I'm actually happy to get a third of him somehow. And there's what it looks like this mask removed. If you want to see his face print, same sort of face he's had since the movie, and Cole has his smooth burst face where he's angry, and he's got, like, energy flowing out of his eyes. No alternate face on Cole, but you can see Jay's alternate face right there. So, overall, would I recommend this magazine? I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel a little underwhelmed by this magazine. The content itself was just a little bit lame this time around. Like, don't get me wrong, like, the magazines aren't, like, highbrow content, right? It tends to be the same kind of stuff, matching game, maze, etc. But, I don't know, this time around, the games all felt very simple. Usually there's, like, at least one creative or fun game that I could see myself, like, really enjoying as a kid. But this time around, there was, like, three matching games, which, I don't know, that feels a bit excessive. Additionally, this comic just wasn't great. It contradicted canon in a few different ways, and yeah... I don't know. I, I like when the, the comics add, like, extra information about the seasons, but this one, it just didn't do it for me. But the magazine is only one half of all of this, and the other half is the minifigures, and I think there is a pretty great minifigure selection here. Island J is awesome, especially because he came out so soon. The Island sets only came out three months ago, and this is by far the cheapest way to get that figure. No armor is lame, but other than that, he's a really great figure with a really cool weapon, so I'm very happy with him. 
And then also you get a mystery second figure, Spooky Burst Cole in particular, he's cool, but there is other cool ones that you could potentially get. So I am very happy with the minifigure selection in this magazine. So overall, I'd say yeah, I would recommend it. If you're buying the magazine for the magazine activities, I think there's better ones, or you should just wait for the next one. But if you're buying it for the minifigure like most people are, this is a pretty good one in terms of minifigures. It's not perfect, but I think it's good. But those are just my thoughts, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do Lego and Ninjago videos like this every single day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.